past 25 years, HIV-AIDS has become a major threat to economic and social development in many parts of the world. 25 million people have already died of this disease, and another 33 million people now live with HIV worldwide. In Tanzania, 7% of the sexually active population is infected with the HIV virus, and estimates indicate that 1.3 million Tanzanians, including adults and children, are currently living with HIV or AIDS. This epidemic has been declared a national disaster. Every Tanzanian has a right to access information on HIV and AIDS and services, available services, including prevention and treatment services. And in so doing, we need to know what is happening to the resources available, both national resources as well as resources from our main development partners, which includes the World Bank, uh, the Global Fund, PEPFA, and others. In Arusha, Tanzania, the World Bank and its partners, including TACAIDS, organized a five-day learning event for local decision makers and community leaders from 10 districts. The World Bank Institute took the lead along with the bank's global HIV AIDS program and ACT Africa. Their goal was to learn how to improve the flow of information and the transparent and accountable use of funds to combat HIV AIDS. Dr. Mbata, one of the participants, is working in his local community in the fight against HIV AIDS. Some of the people in the community do not know exactly what is going on or what is done in the, in the district. So we need to sit together so that to put everything open. Good access to information is key to ensuring the proper use of badly needed funds and for getting these funds into the hands of the people who need them most. Elizabeth Lule is leading the World Bank's effort to fight HIV AIDS in Africa. And if we're going to have quick impact and have this money being used effectively and efficiently, then governance is central to the response of HIV AIDS. For five days, course participants have been learning about how they can manage the funds that come from the international community and from the national government so that the money actually reaches the communities that can make best use of it. It's all very well to say you're just a financing mechanism and to give money and, and watch it uh, being used in the fight against HIV AIDS. But I think we've learned that there are capacity constraints in countries where the ability to absorb and to report against the use of the money and the targets being achieved. So I mean we're very happy to be here to work at this at the district and the community level because this is where the, the services need to be delivered if we're really serious about delivering an effective response to HIV AIDS at that level. In Arusha, Participants discussed how the lack of community involvement, poor information flow, and lack of transparency and accountability can lead to corruption and fraud. Stigmate Tenga is from the Mwanza region. She works with 10 local communities on how to fight AIDS in their villages. They are going to do. We have a system where now, if the, there is a fraud, for example, the community member would not know what to do and they would not have a capacity or they're not empowered enough to question the fraud or to question the misuse of fund. So the tools that we are getting here, they will really help us to design activity, various activities that will empower community members to question and to see to it that resources that are really allocated to work on their own um, identified responses and needs in HIV AIDS are really used for the right impact. Conference participants came up with concrete solutions that can have a real impact in their fight against HIV AIDS to achieve positive results and save lives. One of the tools is to have a radio, a local radio. And we found that this local radio will disseminate or will send information to the large amount of people in the community so that people can know what is going on in the council or what is going on in the NGOs also. Learning from their African neighbors is helping Tanzania move quickly against HIV AIDS. Stephen Kiria came all the way from Uganda to share his experiences. And so we felt that it was important for the district practitioners in Tanzania in ensuring that they implement HIV AIDS activities while at the same time ensuring that 
the little money that they are getting is being put to effective use. So we felt that the tools that we used in Uganda could be shared here and if possible they could adapt some of these uh, good practices. But finding solutions is only half the battle. The hardest part is to put these ideas into practice and to get results that actually meet Tanzania's needs. Maria Gonzalez de Assis is working to ensure that the financial and technical support to the local communities is on track. After one year, uh, they will have an impact evaluation survey to really measure the impact that they, the communities, have uh, had at the community level, at the district level and the regional level in their communities. So clearly, um, countries that would focus attention on establishing the clear principles of good governance, rules of the game, open and transparent systems, uh, competent institutions, um, very um, transparent procedures, uh, structures that deliver um, value for money, decisions, uh, decision-making processes that enable uh, efficient and effective uh, outcomes would be countries that would ultimately grow.